Hello jugglers, my name is Steve and this is my entry into the International Jugglers Association's YouTube video tutorial contest. Today I'm going to teach you a four ball trick that I like to call the traffic light. Now to achieve the maximum traffic light effect you will want a red, yellow, and green color scheme. This is not necessary, however if you use any other color scheme you're not allowed to call it the traffic light. And I'll show you why. Uh, let's see. Here is what the trick looks like. It is a 43-2-3 false mess with the twos as under the wrist throws. Alright, now the first step in learning uh, this this traffic light pattern is of course to learn the same pattern with three balls which would basically be the 4-2-3 false mess with the twos thrown under the wrist. Now to learn the 4-2-3 false mess get a 4-2-3 W going and then watch when I throw the yellow ball up as a four, I'll simply move a two underneath it. Uh, but you don't have to throw it yet. There you go, that's easier. So just throw the four and then move the two underneath it. And of course learn how to do that on both sides. The next step is to simply throw the two and try to mimic the movement of the four so it creates a yo-yo effect. And that is going to look like this. If you're having trouble learning this pattern, uh, there's a handy two ball exercise you can try uh, where you throw the four and then move the two underneath it and try throwing the two. Alright, once you're very comfortable with that, the next step is to learn this pattern, the 43-2-3 multiplex pattern. Uh, I'll attempt to break that down as well. Uh, start with two balls in each hand, and you're going to throw a setup crossing throw to your left hand. When that ball is approaching your left hand, you throw the multiplex followed by a regular crossing throw. So, like that. And then when this ball gets back over to the other side, just repeat on the other side. Make sure that your multiplexes are four, three multiplexes. You don't want them to go the exact same height. You want the crossing throw to be lower. Okay? Once you are very comfortable with that, you want to learn that same pattern, but in reverse. So instead of each multiplex being on the inside of the single ball, it'll be on the outside. And each single ball will be on the outside of each multiplex. So this pattern would look something like this. Uh, I don't think I really need to explain that any further. Uh, however, if you're still having trouble, perhaps this guy over here in slow motion can help you out. He was in an accident a couple weeks ago, okay? And he's, he's been permanently trapped in slow motion, which has actually turned out to be far more convenient than one might imagine. Okay, but anyway, now that you are very comfortable with doing the reverse 4D3-2-3 pattern, the next step is to learn how to do that same pattern in false Mills mess. Now, it's my understanding that false mess is when the twos are the under the wrist throw. I could be wrong on that. I'm not really sure. But uh, basically, after each multiplex throw, you would normally throw the single crossing throw on the outside of it, like that. You'll want to scoop underneath and uh, cross your hands and then throw the single throw after each multiplex as this type of throw. Okay? So, instead of around the multiplex, like that, 
you want to come over to the other side, cross your arms with the ball in your top hand, and throw it from that position. All right? And once you have mastered that, the next step is to throw the twos, small under the wrist throws. And then you end up with the full version. Oh, wait, nope, that's actually not the traffic light. Let me get my colors properly lined up. OK, now, now it's the traffic light. I don't know what I was doing before, but it definitely wasn't the traffic light. All right. If you're having trouble getting the thrown twos in the 43-2-3 false mess, uh, there's an exercise similar to this two ball exercise, but with three balls. Throw a multiplex 4-3, but instead of throwing it like that, throw it more, more like a regular stack. Because the low ball, the three, will be caught by the other hand, but over here. So throw a stack up, and then reach under with the two, and catch the bottom ball, and then uncross your arm. Like that. And then, when you're comfortable doing that, start trying to throw the two. Now the tricky part here is that all three balls will be in the air at the same time, and you have to make two catches with your bottom hand before you uncross your arms and repeat on the other side. So that would look something like this. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video entertaining and useful. Feel free to send me a message here on YouTube with any questions, comments, or requests. And be sure to vote for me in the International Jugglers Association's YouTube Video Tutorial Contest. Please go to www.juggle.org for more information. Until next time, happy juggling.